Feature Cam introduces Dellcom's new patented rough and rest roughing technology called Vortex. Designed for use with solid tooling, it generates a toolpath with a constant load on the tool. This is achieved by having a controlled engagement angle. This new strategy benefits the manufacturing process by creating a big reduction in machining time compared to traditional methods. It also maintains optimum cutting conditions throughout the process. In this example we're going to look at Vortex working inside the 2.5D module. However, in order to get this you'll have to have the 3D HSM license to get the benefits of Vortex. In this example you can see I've got four pockets in this mould plate and I've got four features that are being created in this case with different settings. The first two settings are based on our current machining technology and the first example you can see is a pocket operation that has a profile smooth it has trochoidal machining with a large step down and small step over. If we were to play the centerline simulation just view the toolpath from the top you can see the effect of some of the smoothing for example the rounding of the corners and also the smooth step over passes. The trochoidal machining is there to reduce the load as we go into the corners. A different approach would be on the second pocket. In this case we have a smoothed toolpath but we have no trochoidal machining and this time we have a small step down but a larger step over. Again you can see as we have the smoothing into the corners to reduce any islands of material. We also have helical ramping working our way into the pocket. In the case of these two operations, if we look at the results tab into the details, we can see the time it takes. So 8 minutes 15 for the full depth cut with the trochoidal and 20 minutes for the smaller step down with the larger step over. The next two pockets both use Vortex. To turn Vortex on we simply go to the strategy page and from the step over type we select Vortex. We have a number of control parameters. In this case you can see we have the high speed machining profile corner percentage which works similar to the previous toolpath types. But we also have a couple of extra parameters, in this case a vortex minimum radius. So this will dictate whatever the minimum circle size is for our, our cutting. And we also have the point spacing so we can specify what the gap is between the points for point distribution. In this first example you can see we have a small minimum radius and we have a smaller step over between the passes. Playing the simulation, we can see the shape of the vortex toolpath. So, this is not your traditional trochoidal motion, it is changing the shape of the toolpath based on the engagement angle as we come into the material. This greatly reduces the load on the tool and means we can run at very, very high feed rates. If we optimize this further, depending on the type of the machine. In this next example you can see we have a larger step over and we also have a larger minimum radius. This will create larger circular motion inside the pocket. Again previewing playing that centerline simulation we can see we get larger pocket moves, similar shape but obviously moving in a larger corner radius. I show all of those toolpaths. Again, play the centerline simulation. And look at the results. If we look at the details, in the case of these operations, we have 8 minutes 15, 20 minutes for the first two operations. If we use the vortex toolpath, in this case with the same cutting parameters, we reduce that down to 4. 
And if we reduce that even further down, you can see for this pocket operation, if we've got a optimized process, in this case the optimized minimum radius, and also optimized feeds and speeds, you can see we drop the time down to three. So this new Vortex toolpath gives us a much greater benefit in terms of the machining time and gives us our optimum cutting conditions throughout the process.